Welcome back to Curl Up with Jamie. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about sweeping form. While I was at the national championship, I was hanging out in the stands with my parents. We were cheering on one of the guys' games. And I met this little boy. He's a really enthusiastic curler. And turns out, he's a really good sweeper. Sweeping is a vital part of the sport of curling. The movement of your brush head on the ice creates friction, which heats up the ice and allows your rock to travel further and straighter. In order to be the most effective sweeper, there's two things they have to keep in mind. Pressure and speed. In order to get the most amount of pressure on the brush head, you need to use your body weight. So we're gonna start off with how to hold the broom. You want your bottom hand to be about six inches up from the brush head and your top hand to be about a third of the way down from the end of the broom. Now when you're sweeping you want to make sure that your head is over top of your brush head and that your back is flat. This will give you the most amount of pressure. Also you want to try and get your feet out from under you as far as you can. Staying on your toes is going to shift that body mass and once again allow you to get a lot more pressure on the brush head. Once you've got that down, then you want to think about moving that brush head back and forth as fast as you can. Try to keep the broom nice and close to your body so that the movement is controlled. And this will really engage your core muscles and your arm muscles. There's a couple different ways in which you can have your brush head positioned on the ice. It can be parallel to the rock's path, which keeps more of your brush head in the path. Or it can be perpendicular, which allows both of your sweepers to get really close to the rock. Personally, I found a happy medium between the two and kind of sweep on a 45 degree angle. So it's really whatever you feel most comfortable with. Overall, there's two different positions that you can be in for sweeping. This is the open position, where it's easy to look down the ice and call weight. And this is the closed position. And a lot of people say that this is the position that allows you to get the most amount of pressure on the broom. When you go out and practice, I recommend that you experiment a little bit with your hand positions and the open and closed to see what feels most comfortable for you. My team a couple years ago in juniors, we would have practices where we just focused on sweeping. And we would push ourselves a little bit, try to get our feet as far out from under us as we could. And it was a lot of fun. And if, if you fell doing it too, that was even better. Hopefully that helped. And with a little bit of practice, before you know it, you'll be sweeping like the guys at the Briar. Stay tuned for more on Curl Up With Jamie. And don't forget to subscribe.